Hello everyone, this is Nefiolik and today I am going to drink a Bai Ho Oolong aka Oriental Beauty from Taiwan Alright, the gaiyuan is heated up and tea is in here. Oh, yes, and it has a very very nice aroma. But first, I would like to show you the dry leaf of this uh, baiho oolong. And baiho oolong, as you can see, there are like um, various kinds of uh, colors variety of colors in here and actually this is uh, called five color tea sometimes because it has uh, like a bright color yellow color and dark color like uh, they said uh, if it's a good by long it should have uh, five five colors in here and um, also that sometimes they say if it has more uh, like a uh, buds, then it's a uh, better quality of by her oolong. Still, um, you have to be careful because uh, sometimes they just uh, put more buds, uh, blend more buds in so that they can sell as a higher price. Uh, what matter is at the end the uh, taste and then the aroma, right? So. Um, Let's get to it. Uh, this uh, Baihu Oolong is very, uh, very tricky to make it really a uh, better taste because you have to breathe very, very s uh, being careful, like subtle. Shouldn't press too much, uh, p like water pressure or while you brew and also the temperature of the water should be lower. So what I normally do is uh, I pour the hot water from uh, to the gong dobe first. And then that way the temperature of water goes down already. First I'm gonna rinse the leaf. And if you smell the wet leaves, Oh, the the aroma of it really enhanced. I can smell the fruit, uh, also some flowers and even some um, even some musket tea, and that is actually a very good sign because if you if you can smell some kind of musket, that means uh it is made really proper way so that's very uh, good good sign so yeah it's better so you have to be really careful try to make it really narrow um, small stream and then pour it to the wall of the gaiwan so that it wouldn't really directly pouring on the tea leaf then that way um, these are being uh, the water will be filled up by one really really carefully and put this up and wait I normally wait for like 15 to 20 seconds for the first brew. The first brew is really um, kind of a nice, uh, nice, uh, little bit lemony amber color, I would say. It's not too strong. That is one thing uh, interesting about brewing 
Oriental Beauty or buy how Oolong because uh, as uh, you're adding to the number of the brewing, it gets uh, darker and darker. So yeah. Ah, it's a good relief whenever you drink this uh, good tea. But yeah, obviously I didn't put enough time for the brewing because it's a first brew. But yeah, I can tell that this is going to be good tea time already because um, I can already taste uh, like a similar uh, that musket musket taste like a dazzling. And then the smell. Yeah, fruity, flowery, and and little bit of uh, wood, woody, but just a little. Like a really, really, it's more like a fermented, the fermented scent. And uh, yeah, let me talk about what. Why is it important to have musket uh, aroma? Because uh, Oriental Beauty or Baiho Oolong is... I heard it's first made in 1930s. And at that time in Taiwan, uh, the tea farmers believe if believed it if the tea tree got bitten by the bug that means that tree is like a uh, ill or sick so you shouldn't produce the tea but there was one summer this uh, tea farmer uh, made uh, found out there were all the many many of his trees were bitten by the bugs so he was very uh, disappointed, but still he just decided to make the tea anyway with that uh, ill trees. <laughs> and and um, yeah, he made the tea and and surprisingly he uh, that that was uh, selling very well in the market. So after he sold out all of his product, he came back to the town and village and starting to talk about um, uh, as really like a cocky and like bragger, bragger, bragging way, saying like, oh, you know what, uh, I had this uh, strange, all these trees bitten by bugs and I made a tea and then that was like really hot shot in the market and I sold out everything and I and that was really good because that the tree was so cheap but then tea was uh, sold in inexpensive price so <laughs> at first people in village thought he was lying but later on um, people started to produce this tea because uh, at the end that was true the this tea was uh, really selling well because of the astonishing aroma and then really good taste as well. Which is very good, I think. So that we are drinking this tea now, right? And uh, this is definitely one of my favorite Taiwanese oolong. Because it has a, such a like dramatic and various um, taste and aroma at the same time and I, I I really really appreciate it I appreciate it and I really 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 enjoy it so much but yeah just the one thing that you have to be really really careful on um, brewing stage if you use too high temperature level, like more than 90 degrees, I would say, 
then it starts uh, starts reveal is uh, like a very origin deep inside of this tea like the bitterness comes out and like earthy taste comes out and like those um I don't know, especially Korean people are very sensitive on uh, bitterness taste of the tea, so uh, they don't like it. So if it's very always recommended from the tea shop that lower the temperature, then taste it will taste better. It is some degree quite true, but for me as a personal uh, personal taste I don't like it when if it's too low because I want the balance of that a uh, little bit of earthiness and a little bit of uh, just a little bit of bitterness comes a little bit like show up and melting down in this cup <laughs> I don't know what what I am talking about I hope I am making sense a soft and sweet and uh, fruity and flowery and all these aromas and all this uh, all sort of different kind of uh, uh, taste and aroma fills of your mouth and you just feel very happy when you drink this I'll say this uh, Oriental Beauty is a little bit higher price. It's because um, producing this tea was to be having these leaf hoppers. They're very small, tiny, really, really small. Um, I will show you a picture somewhere here. Uh, they are really tiny bug bugs. They uh, will bite the tea trees and have this uh, chemical going on inside of tree. Uh, the fatal evidence that this this tea that you will taste is uh, bitten by leaf poppers that has if they it has a musket aroma and taste then that's the proof. Uh, how can you distinguish musket taste? If you tasted the Dazeeling and um, it has, it certainly has the musket um, taste while as long as it's a proper Dazeeling. So if you can sense the Dazeeling inside of this um, Baiha Oolong somehow similar then that's a good proof that that the tree was um, bitten by the leaf hopper, yeah. Okay, third brew. Can you see the difference? Yeah, I can definitely tell this is getting darker. And as it gets darker, it's uh, the all this um, strong those like flowery, aromatic are getting a little like little bit declining and then more of the taste of that earthy and woody that I mentioned a little bit of also bitterness goes high, goes up so it's uh, like a different taste and as a experience if I tell you if you brew this several more times it it literally become like a black tea this is not exactly cheap oolong tea because uh, it's uh, definitely higher price range still yeah go for it it's good it's good okay anyway everybody Thank you very, very, very much for watching and if you have any questions, uh, please, or comment or if you want any ideas about my tea time, please write down comment below and um, yeah, do come back and let's hang out again. 
And until I, until I see you next time, and until I hang out with you next time, um, have a great tea time, and see you on the next video. Bye bye!